were running six there, and it's just so tough to pass. You couldn't really get by anyone, and then with like 12 to go, the power steering went away. So it was a tough final 12 last, but able to hang on to a top 10 yet. I mean, you can look back at races and circle ones that are like, these are ones that could have been better, like Las Vegas, for example, or Texas, where we got taken out late. But uh, it's, it's part of the past, and you got to look past it, and you just got to keep focusing on these next 10 races. Can you describe having to do this with someone like Matt Crafton, who's historically been one of the most consistent, most successful drivers in the series, that this is the guy who your points racing? Yeah, I knew it was going to be tough racing him just because of, I mean, he's been, I remember growing up watching these truck races, watching the number 88 Menards truck, so I knew he was going to be tough to gain 19 points on, and we were able to gain quite a bit throughout the last five, six races, but uh, 19 points in one day would have been tough, and uh, at the end of the day, we weren't able to do it, but but uh, we got 10 more races to try. So kind of off that, you gained four points in the first stage, lost eight in the second stage if you could it. Um, is that the right strategy you probably feel like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not the crew chief. I just, I just drive the thing and listen to what they tell me to do. And uh, looking, looking back on it, I was surprised on how many people stayed out in between the first and second stage. I feel like that's kind of where we, where we dug ourselves a hole. And uh, but looking back on it, there's nothing that we can do about it. And we just try to keep digging forward, and that's what we did.